Two women on a bridge? Yeah. One says, you know what, Helen, I've always wanted to pee off this bridge just like men do. She yeah. said, go ahead, there's no one around. So she goes over the railings, drops her shorts, sticks her ass over the railing. She says, come here, I'm going to pee right down there in that canoe. She said, it's not a canoe, it's your reflection. <laughs> Adam had a question he wanted to ask you about your comedy. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been chomping at the bits to ask this one. I've been thinking about it all week. Norm told me to come up with some questions for you, and and I've just been dying to know how, where do you get your ideas from. Well, I mean, Uh, long tour, Michael. About six months ago, the Sing Along Society of North America called and said, Super, we think you could help us get rid of profanity on the highway. And I said, What do you mean? And they said, Well, have you ever pulled up alongside a car and seen someone singing to a record? They're happy. It's very hard to sing a swear word. I'll say it is. Yes, and, indeed. Uh, so they felt that if I could go on a week-long tour, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to cover about 5,000 miles. Five I'll be singing night and day that maybe I could be like a Pied Piper, people would follow me, start to sing along, and uh, then when I left, I could leave kind of a musical highway through the world. Trailer for sale. <laughs> Room select is <laughs> means by no means. King of the road. <laughs> <laughs> Super Dave Osborne on the Super Dave show. One of the best. I, I was raised on that show. You so were? Never, absolutely. Not Filmed weird, in though. Toronto, Canada. You know, I went to a tennis match at Indian Wells. Yeah. And I saw Rafael Nadal play. He's my favorite. Rafael Nadal. Explain to the folks who Rafael Nadal is. Oh, my is. God. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. No, he, of course, Rafael yes, Nadal. But, I'll explain. Okay. Rafael Nadal is a tennis player, only 26, but seemingly beyond great his player. prime. Great player. Abs like. Great player, but here's the thing. You like Every his abs? Every single seen his time abs? he serves and returns. He picks his underwear out of his ass. He does? Yes. I've never heard that. There's a I've video of it. That. Show it. I There's brought a it. video of that? Yes, I brought it. Well, how could that? Let me roll that off the schneid. What? I'm it. It's too much bread and butter. <laughs> you can't see that in public. This I'm man is a right. genius. That's all he what does. does. What if he was a dentist? Hello. Oh. Hello. Oh, oh he smelled oh, it. Oh, what God. was that all about? You know what I was thinking, though? Do you remember the girl that got stabbed? What? Yeah, I gained 45 pounds. Are you okay? Yeah, what's going on? I'm doing it for a movie. <laughs> there for you what are. What's the role? What are you playing, Jackie Gleason? <laughs> what do you mean it's you're doing It's not a particular it for a movie. movie. I just think they need, always need a fat guy in a <laughs> fat movie. Fat guy to be like, you're doing hard. <laughs> you're paying it forward, hard. yeah. yeah. No, no I, I am, I, I'm going to lose it, though. Yeah, this is the heaviest I've ever seen. And it. since I've gained it, I sweat like a, like a, yeah, you're sweating yeah, notice, like, yeah. A, yeah. like a whore in church. I don't mean to be. Uh, what? I don't mean to be filthy, but. A whore in church. Yeah, she's nervous, so she sweats You're because. Sweating of like a Chris Dorner in a Big Bear cabin. Okay, come on. Well, I'm just. That's racist. I think that if Kim Kardashian. Yeah. Were to go to Vegas. Yeah. She could do Carrot Top's act and take things out of her ass. That's what Nadal uh, reminded me of. That's a pretty solid idea. Yeah. Wait, I don't understand that. I don't either, but well, I just you know, behind, I respect that idea. Well, you know, Carrot Top takes things out of a trunk. Yeah, oh, I see. I she see. Could take, yeah, am I going to have to explain everything to you? <laughs> no, to the folks, explain who explain Kim oh, Kardashian ahead, is. Never mind. Because I think the joke was predicated on knowing that she has a big ass. <laughs> Wasn't it? <laughs> people uh, don't know that. Young people don't, no. Everybody knows that. Have you seen the pictures of her? Yeah, two weeks ago. Okay. He showed them to me. I don't mind seeing hefty women dance. Sure, you love But I don't it. want to see it on television. <laughs> Where do you want what to I see it? What I would do on that show is I would make sure that on the side they had an Indianapolis pit crew. <laughs> and during her dance, she would come over and they'd change her underwear and her shoes. Yeah. And then she would go back out and finish the dance. But where do you like to see hefty women dance? <laughs> in the circus. <laughs> That's where I like to see hefty women. Who the hell wants to see hefty women dance? No, I know. No, her partner can't believe it. Yeah, but I. Wakely has to lift her up. <laughs> Good luck on that one. The show went six years, the first series in the history of cable. Oh, I know. I, was, I wasn't saying it was an epithet, I meant. I liked it. Don't use epithet when you don't know what it means. We went over words before this show, and you I asked you, do you know what epithet means? You said no. And now you use it. 
And what about that dormer, this guy, who killed the cops? Yeah, explain to the folks. I don't want to explain. <laughs> I've heard people say that. There explain to thing. the folks who that is. Dormer. Dorner, yes, Christopher Dorner. Dorner. Yeah. Okay. Explain He's to the folks who he was. Tall. He was the, the African American. African American police officer. Guy. His arms are like this. Oh. He, he can't take a bad picture. Even his mugshot was great. <laughs> he goes yeah. and decides to hide in Big Bear. Yeah. He Who's is he? the only black man in Big Bear, and he was there for six days. What was he going to the market with those with nose glasses? Are you Christopher Dorner? No, sir. No, but you look like him. No, no. And then after they killed him, yeah. the police were giving the story. And behind them, the house was burning. And they said, is Dorner inside? We don't know. We're not sure. <laughs> so you're just killing someone and burning their house. And then you'll find out later. Uh, this is how I would like to see the election of the police. Oh, there it is. There's the there there crowd. Now watch. Watch. All right, the door's going to open. And there's the ah, pole. There's the pole. Oh, that's not. That's the pole. Ah. We should explain to the folks that that was uh, Michael Jackson. The Let's explain. Yeah, Jackson. explain who Michael Jackson is to the people. I don't know was Michael Jackson. What are you retarded? Did you see Latoya Good kicked off of uh, 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 the, the, the thing? Yeah, two weeks ago. I think that if you took all the nose skin that had been taken off the Jackson's face, you could make a tarp to cover an infield. <laughs> Your, your ass white producer just held up a sign, let's take a break. <laughs> Where are we going? We're talking to six people. <laughs> you know, we could get on a bus right now, the three of us, and yell out the window and reach more people. <laughs> Listen, what, what about this? What? Adam Egan likes to tell jokes. You like to tell jokes. What if each of us, e each of you told a joke and decided who was the better joke? Your we producer probably wants take you to a take break. a break. Okay, we'll take a break, and then we'll do the joke off. No, we're not doing the jerk off. No. Joke? No, oh, it's a joke, joke off. off. No, yeah, wildly different. We're yeah. not doing it. You don't. You don't think you can take them? I had a little guy on my show that yeah. I found in the world. A little York, person. A little person. So right. explain to the folks. And he was an alcoholic. And he like we, Adam we put him up. Yeah, we put him up <laughs> at the Royal York Hotel, and I would get calls. Uh, Mr. Einstein, your midget is York walking down the hall. The Royal York is a very underpants. famous hotel in Toronto. Mr. Einstein, your midget is walking down the hall in his underpants. I said, first of all, I don't own him. I was doing this thing where I was explaining the entire layout of the compound in miniature. It was a seven-minute ad lib. And behind me, I had Fergie, who was the little person. He looked exactly like Ronald Reagan in a suit and tie, teeter-tottering with fish. We had gotten a, a tank of fish that balanced him out. So they were teeter-tottering. I'm trying not to look at it. All of a sudden, change hits the floor, and he says, my money, in the middle of me talking. Yeah. And the stagehand went, shh, shh, <laughs> no, but it's my money. So Adam Inker told me something I didn't know. He said you worked with Red Fox on a variety. Yeah, show. I heard that. I'm, I'm dying to I hear I produced it. Red Fox variety. You told me he just worked on worked it. Worked on it. Well, that's, I mean, according to your What do you Wikipedia think I was, opinion. a stagehand, you douchebag? <laughs> <laughs> Worked on it. Did you, did you do your notes? Uh, no, I want I you back on drugs. From I'm Wikipedia. serious. Yeah, I want you I, back on stuff I'm so you know. Close. I'm going to get another time for show. Okay? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Red Fox. And we had this giant tenement that turned into R-E-D-D and he came out from that. You know what a tenement Music. Is? Music. Yeah, it's, a, it's like a, 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 a neighborhood, right? You know, I, I would rather do a show with a, I would rather do, I'd rather do a story. show. I'd rather do a show with a signer. I'm serious for the death. I'm in the middle of oh, yeah, yeah. He told me, let's take a break. I'll show you a break. So there's no red. The audience is applauding. Music's playing. I stop tape. I go to his dressing room. I'm knocking the door. I hear, what? I open the door. There red is sitting in his makeup chair. The girl who's doing his hair is sitting on top of him. So her dress is over his legs. And I said, red. And from under her dress, he said, what? <laughs> I said, we're on camera. He said, can't a man relax? <laughs> and we're walking down the hall. And I'm talking about human decency and how yeah. to treat people. Yeah. We go into my dressing room, and it is a freak show. I've got a blow-up doll on a swing. Yeah. It's the kinkiest place. I open the shift robe and take Fergie out. He was sleeping. Yeah. Put him on the ground. He has bunny shoes on. I snap a rubber uh, glove on his head. And now we're walking. 
We come to my car, I have a blind limo driver. I open up the truck, I throw Fergie in, slam the truck, get in the car, I tell the blind driver to take me home, he hits the wall, it's another car, into a tree, back. All of a sudden, a storm hits. We race inside because you know the Toronto storms, explain it to me. The Toronto storms are incredible. <laughs> no, they're incredibly Okay, powerful. okay. We're in here eating and drinking, okay? All of a sudden, I realize, 45 minutes later, I left Fergie in the truck. Uh -oh. <laughs> I run outside, I open the trunk, and he looks at me and said, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> My favorite story of all time is Pistorius. Same. Grew up as a kid without legs, which is tough. Yes. Okay, his whole life, he's been made fun of, all, all of a sudden, he gets blades. He becomes the hero of the world makes millions of dollars, meets the most beautiful woman in the history of life, and shoots her, but comes up with the lamest excuse I've ever heard what in my life. What was his excuse? He said he was standing on the balcony on his stumps. <laughs> behind, beside the bed were his two legs and this gorgeous woman in the bed. Now, if I'm a burglar, I'm breaking in for two reasons. One, to rape a woman, and two, to rob everything. So if I come in there and I see, Jesus Christ, I got legs I can take, I can take her, I'm going to do up. No, I'm not. I'm going to go into the bathroom, lock myself in, and take a good, healthy dump. <laughs> so what's the number one reason you'd break into a house?